going to show you some tips and tricks when you land at the Bangkok International Airport. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeff Lepard from JeffLepard.com and today we're at the Bangkok International Airport and I'm going to answer some of the questions that people have once they land. Your Wi-Fi connection. Where do you do your currency exchange? Where do you get a taxi? Can you use Uber? I'm gonna answer all that. So let's take you for a little walk and I'll answer some of those questions. So one of the first things you do after you get your baggage is you're gonna to wanna to exchange your home currency for some Thai bot. But where do you do that? Do you do it at the airport or do you do it in town? Well, the answer isn't so simple, but it all depends on how fast you need the currency exchanged. It's always good to have a little bit once you arrive, but you gotta pay attention to the exchange rates. So as soon as you come out the gates, you'll have a bunch of different places. So I'm gonna show you some tips as well. You can always check online what the, um, what the currency's exchange rates are for your particular home country. And uh, so I'll tell you right off the bat, if you're coming out of the gate and you hit one of the booths that are right near the exit, your exchange rates are gonna be quite high. So it's best to be a little bit patient and uh, you'll find better exchange rates. Almost all the exchange rates on the main level are quite high so where you actually want to go for these is the basement so this place has a few different levels you're going to want to take the uh, elevator or the escalator down to b down to the basement and there's a bunch of different exchange rates down there uh, exchange places and they actually have the best rates I'm also going to uh, let you know in the description a website you can check once you arrive and you can uh, check the currency rates, what they would be in, your, uh, in the town wherever you're going to be staying, whether it be uh, Bangkok, Patea, you can check those rates and compare them to the airport rates and you can make your own decisions if you want to do your uh, exchange. So I'm going to take you down to the... Uh, bottom level right now and I'll show you the difference of the uh, exchange rates. So these are the current exchange rates upstairs. You can see the US is 29.36, um, the Euro 32.87 and uh, you can see the Canadian dollar 22.50. So remember those numbers, I'm going downstairs right now and I'll show you the difference. So right now we're on terminal two, the arrivals. We gotta go down to the basement, B. So we're now on the first level, and I'm gonna go over this one after, but the first level, this is where you're going to be uh, catching a taxi or um, public transit if you're gonna do that. We've gotta go down one more level. If you know someone that's going to Thailand and they could use this information. It'd be uh, greatly appreciated if you could uh, share this video with them and give it a like. Thanks very much. And you can see the uh, lower level, the basement down there. It's quite big actually. There's a few different places that you can go and I'll show you, um, I'll show you the best ones. 
there's a handful of them that uh, have the same exchange rate, but uh, you can use your own judgment. Okay, so as soon as you get down the escalator, you're gonna come up to another set of uh, ramps and you'll see uh, where you can catch the express line train and down there is where there's a bunch of exchange places so I'm just gonna go down this way I think there's uh, probably six to eight of them down here and most of them all have the same exchange rate but uh, also you can tell which rates are the best you can always see the uh, the tourists the people at those exchange rate places so we're passing the first one currency exchange um, this is not one of the ones that are the uh, cheaper ones so we're going to continue to walk and you can see a gathering of people over here. This is where you want to go. And I'll, uh, I'll get a little closer and show you the boards for the exchange rates here. Pretty much all these places are running competitive exchange rates. And part of that website that I was gonna tell you about uh, in the description is uh, Super Rich Thailand and also uh, Happy Rich Plus. Uh, they have competitive rates and uh, their rates are usually pretty good. So there you can see the US dollar is 30.88 cents. And then you can see the uh, the rest of the rates there, pretty good rates. Same thing with this one here, 30.88, Euro 35, and the Canadian as well. And the Happy Rich Plus. Same rate, 30.88, the Euro, 35, and the Canadian dollar, 23.25. Not a huge difference from upstairs, but the cheapest you're going to get into the uh, while you're at the airport. And you have a couple of uh, exchange rates on the other side here, and their, uh, their rates are the same as well. So the best thing to do is just, uh, you're probably going to need some money anyway. So you're going to probably exchange some here. Whether you make the decision to exchange everything that you need here at the airport, um, that's fine. Or if you want to get slightly little bit better rates in town, and you can do that. So the next thing I'm going to tell you is once you get to the airport, uh, you can just go on to your Wi-Fi on your phone and the Wi-Fi is free at the airport. I believe you only have two hours of usage, usage once you get here. Um, don't quote me on that, but uh, that's, uh, that's what I was told. Um, I've already activated mine. I've only been here about a half hour so far, so I'll, uh, I'll see how that goes. Okay, so we're back up to the first floor, and this is where you can get the public taxis. And I'll show you how to do that. You just go out the sliding doors here. Now to the right of me, you will see lines based on what you want to do. So you have your large taxi line, you have larger items, larger luggage, more people, you can go into that line. If you just want a regular taxi 
or if you're going short distance. And then I'll show you what happens when you go, uh, let's say if you're taking a regular taxi. So what you do is you just uh, walk along here and uh, you just go to the machine and you'll purchase a ticket then after you purchase that ticket there's going to be a corresponding number with which lane you're going to go to and that's up on the display so after you get that ticket you will want to go to the number on your ticket corresponding to the lane and your uh, cab driver will be waiting there another tip always make sure the cab driver has his meter running a lot of times they're trying to scam you and telling you that the uh, meter doesn't work or they won't turn it on and they're gonna try to increase the rates on you so just be aware of that um, I'm not taking a taxi I'm gonna be taking uber so yes you absolutely can use uber but you cannot get an uber ride from this floor there's a little trick to it you can only get the uber ride from departures on the top floor and we're gonna get into that next hey guys so i'm just in the uh, departure section on the top level and unfortunately my uber is not connecting to my uh, phone i don't know if it's the wi-fi but uh, it's looking like i'm not going to be able to do to take the uber today so unfortunately i wasn't able to get the uber app working to connect to uber so unfortunately i won't be taking an uber i'm going to have to go back down to the first floor and take a taxi to the hotel Drop it in the comment section if you were able to get Uber to work on the departure floor and let us know, share it with everybody in the comment section. It'd be greatly appreciated, but unfortunately it's uh, not gonna be working for me today. Okay guys, that's it. So just wanna thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bash that bell, turn notifications on, and we'll see you on the next Jeff Lepard video. Take care guys, bye-bye.